In the late winter of 1961, a group of artists walked out onto a rooftop in Manhattan to pose for a picture that would appear at the center of the program for a show of their artwork that they presented in May of that year. They called their show a realist view. We wanted to say something as to the uh, direction that we were involved with. I don't think it was a big ego challenge to the art world so much as that they were marching off in another direction. We wanted to say there's something still here that we're doing. We thought in terms of something like the Armory Show, which introduced modernism to America, this would be a show that would reassert realism as an ongoing tradition by a young group of artists. Some of the artists saw this show as a direct challenge to the 20th century modernist art establishment that they had been fighting since their high school days some 20 years earlier at the High School of Music and Art in Manhattan. Others saw the show as a way of offering an alternative view of modern art in the 20th century, one that conveyed a contemporary update on the past master's response to the visual richness of life, which these artists so admired. In the years leading up to the show, two of them had served in the U.S. Army during the Korean War era. A few of them had been active in various political causes and had created artwork in that context. Two of them had gone to Montgomery, Alabama to do drawings of the people involved in the bus boycott that began the Civil Rights Movement. Four of them had taken part in an excursion up the Hudson River to commemorate the 100-year anniversary of the Hudson River School of Painters. A few of them had become acquainted with a character in a Brooklyn studio who would turn out to be something none of them could have imagined. And nearly all of them had exhibited their artwork at the Davis Gallery in Manhattan. In that time, and in the years that would follow their show, they produced a quite substantial body of work that presents a very strong argument for the validity of realist art in the late 20th and early 21st centuries. You can find out more about their art and the details of these episodes of their lives from a documentary called The View From Here. <laughs>